you came to the crib, Phil's crib, where he shares his opinions on random topics. And now, here's your host, Phil. In this edition of Phil's Crib, we're going to speak about modern day emotional males once again. Now, I had posted those videos about modern day emotional males maybe about a year or two ago on the Advice Show TV channel. Now, why am I bringing up the modern day emotional male once again? Well, I posted a video on Ratchet Video Weekly number 102. If you haven't subscribed to the Ratchet Video Weekly channel, subscribe to it make sure you stay plugged in now for those who just watching this video don't know anything about the ratchet video weekly channel it's a channel that i use just to have fun um once a week i do a lot of serious commentary on the advice show tv channel if you haven't checked that one out check it out make sure you subscribe to that one and i'll just say whatever's in my head just to have fun at the time i'm laughing i'm not being serious like i am on advice show tv well i want you to see one of the videos that i posted that really got the emotional males upset i'm gonna roll that little short clip look at bitches look at bitches they so fucking loyal they so loyal right bitches is loyal right this bitches is, her is her loyal right friend this is her bitches is loyal right this is her bitches is loyal right Look at this! Boyfriend! Look at this! This is her Bitches is loyal, right? Ain't no bitch loyal! Right Ain't no this bitch loyal! Right Caught in the car, look what she got on! No. Thought ass bitch! Thought ass bitch! Look what she got on! Caught her! Caught her! Caught her! She tried to throw on some shit! Caught her! Look at them! Bitches is crazy! Bitches is crazy! Caught them! Fuck out of here! So as you saw in that video, as a young man, he caught his girl cheating on him. And I joked in the Ratchet Video Weekly video that, well, the reason why she's cheating on you because you don't have a car because you can't take her nowhere, X, Y, Z. So I'm laughing the whole time or whatever. These guys got so bothered by me saying that. Oh, you trying to say if a guy don't have a car gives a woman a right to cheat on him and all oh, this over and over and over. It wasn't even women that were saying anything to me about it. It was a bunch of guys. And it prompted me to respond to them and say, okay, you know I'm just messing around. This is my channel. That's how I do on this one. Why are you in your feelings? It's a joke. You saw me laughing, right? I didn't have a serious face. I didn't have anything. But yet over and over and over, they kept saying this. So it prompted me to think about the young men and how they are in trouble today. See, the problem with a lot of young men, they didn't have the proper male role model or male influence within their life. And so they took on a lot of traits of their mothers, their grandmothers, their aunts, etc. Is it their fault that possibly your dad wasn't around? No, I'm not saying it's their fault. But at the end of the day, you have to get around some men to learn the proper things that men should do. And the thing is, as men, we can't be so emotional. It's nothing on YouTube or social media or anything that bothers me as somebody may say. The only time you should have an issue with what somebody say is you know, that when they put your name in it, when they talk about your children, when they talk about somebody in your family, you know, something personal. Okay, then you have a right to respond to someone because they are addressing you. But if you're just joking around on the internet and you're getting bothered by that, well, let's go ahead and talk about that. You know, I'm a firm believer of a hurt dog hollers the loudest. In other words, what is it that I said jokingly that made you get bothered by that so much? Are you one of those guys I was joking about who don't have a car, who don't apply yourself, who don't get a degree, who don't get um, maybe a trade or something to apply yourself? Are you the type of guy that want to live on a woman all your life? And if a man says something about it, you're mad, you're getting bothered and responding like a woman possibly would respond. Let me tell you something. Women get a pass in this world to be emotional. As men, you don't get a pass. So that emotionalism, you getting bothered, you getting your feelings hurt for what somebody said that didn't direct it at you, you need to stop that crap. You're not going to get in the way in life like that. That's why a lot of women are so catty for good men, for strong men, because a lot of women don't even have choices for strong men anymore because they got to deal with a guy who's so emotional who who ha have sometimes more feminine ways than a woman have feminine ways they have women out here today i found out that's extremely strong uh women who women you want in your corner women who gonna fight tooth and nail with you 
But you have some of these guys that are run away from problems so quick. You get on the job, you can't deal with those problems, you can't deal with problems with your kids or everything else. Now, I understand that as human beings, we get tired. I understand as human beings, we do have emotions. I understand that. But as men, we should not be getting our feelings hurt or bothered about anything somebody's saying that don't direct that to us. You see why a lot of women always state that it's not really that many good men around anymore. And yes, now I'm being serious. A woman will possibly think about cheating on you if she has her act together and you don't. Because you know why? She's gonna think like, dog, I'm with this dude, but he only have his act together. And if a woman wanna cheat, even if you got your act together, okay? You can have the, a big house, or nice, a nice regular house, whatever, a car. You can have a Lambo if you want to. Okay, and if that chick want to cheat, she going to do it. You only got two choices with the situation. Yes, it's going to hurt you. It's gonna, of course, you're a human being. It, like, it sucks when you love a person and cheat. But you have to move on with your life. You can't be caught up on that chick. And any man that has some sort of male influence will understand that it is what it is. I move on. There's way too many women in this world to be trying to uh, get with and worry about that one female and what she has done. Because if that saved that boy in that video is my son, he came back and told me that. The first thing I think, I'll say, well, son, you know, maybe you need to be focusing on your education right now. Maybe you need to be focusing on, um, you know, getting further in life. Leave them little females alone. You know, eventually you're going to take care of your business or whatever. Because you can't control what somebody else do, but you can control what you can do. But some of y'all dudes, you know, that's just so emotional and and y'all get your feelings hurt and bothered for everything. Y'all need to stop and slow your roll for a minute. And, and, and I don't really I'm sorry. I don't expect a woman to sit there and deal with you being emotional 24 seven when she the one looking for somebody to be strong for her. I mean, doggone it. I mean, as men, we supposed to lead our families and do what's right. But if you sitting up there getting your feelings hurt every time somebody say something, then you know what's the point of her being with you for i mean just I, just women in general from what i've seen they like men who are strong they like men they can lean on depend on i didn't say the man gonna do everything for them but somebody they can lean and depend on them but how they gonna do that when you get in, in your feelings all the time for every little thing somebody say it's just not gonna be accepted for men to do that 24 7. now of course we have some women that's gonna say no it's okay for a man to be and them same women won't even be with this, that type of guy I And mean, if she is with that kind of type of guy She's going to control him and run him And tell him what to do And everything else And then that goes into another aspect Of some of these guys today That sit there and, and let the woman control them And do everything with them But, but not to about 10 Those guys who have their act together That's why that woman controls them She provides your cell phone She provides your car She provides a place to stay And everything else So that's why she feel empowered To control you as a guy But you know it's like this man Y'all need to chill out with all that junk Get your act together Stop being emotional for everything Because I'm telling you right now In my life Being emotional don't Never made my problems go away It never solved anything But what helped me solve my problems Being logical about it Thinking Coming up with solutions And just tackling my problems head on Not sitting up there being emotional about it Or somebody says something to me. If I sat here and focused on every single thing Somebody ever told me in my life I wouldn't be nowhere today. I still be in my hometown, not doing crap, not getting anywhere because somebody hurt my feelings. Somebody called me names. Look at my disrespectful comment videos. People call me names there all the time. Now, what if I got my feelings about everything? Man, I would've been shut down. I would've shut my YouTube down and I went in the corner out of cry for the rest of my life. You understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you this because I care about you. And I don't wanna see you just not getting away in life just because you can't get past being emotional. It's me and supposed to be strong. Leave me your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to this channel where we also feature so disrespectful YouTube comments and advice show radio. Want news that isn't politically correct or influenced by a corporate agenda? Subscribe to the Advice Show TV where we present media with a common sense approach. Looking for something funny to get you through the day? Subscribe to Ratchet Video Weekly. Thank you for listening and see you next time.